What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series and welcome to another one of my unedited case by cases. I put out one previously, if you did not see it, uh, you can go watch that. That was uh, dog food, flowers, stuff to that nature. This one is going to be a smaller case order. Uh, starting out with smaller cases, I end up with a full palette and you're going to see that in the beginning of this I struggled uh, pretty much. So without further ado, this is a longer video than last time so we're going to get right to it. So let's uh, start watching that. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by me throwing a case on the pallet. <laughs> uh, when I do these, I told you I like to get a bunch of cases and just throw them down so I can construct it later. So I'm not man uh, moving cases around a ton. Uh, it just looks worse whenever I'm doing it on video. I never realized that I toss them down like that. So, I mean, nothing's getting broken, but it's still a little crazy. Now, right there, I put those jars on the side. I got a nice heavy case. Uh, you know, what you're going to notice is, is I talk about crosses and T's all the time. When you have a starting point like this and you are constructing with a bunch of small cases, the cross and T stay somewhat in the play, but you're going to see that I build a little bit differently, uh, trying to get the heavier cases on the corners and putting the lighter, lower cases on the inside. So like right there, uh, that is definitely not with a cross and T, right? So I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do this. And the beginning of the, I don't like starting here. I started in this aisle before with a case by case, but it was at the end of the aisle where I had a lot of canned goods. This is actually starting with a lot of smaller cases. So I put that jelly on the corner and what did I do? I didn't take the tuna or whatever that was and put it in the middle. I stuck it on the outside. I'm trying to make my corners higher. It's always the same process. No matter where I start in the warehouse, I want to make my corners higher. And so now I got the, uh, my two corners are going to be higher than the inside. Now I'm going to try to tr try to find something to equal those corners. I hope that makes sense. But these light boxes, I, I just, I knew right off the beginning when I started getting all these light boxes because the very next aisle, I get cans. All right. This is almost like an ending point to the, uh, big, to the beginning of the 10 aisle, which is our cans. And then we got more cans coming up. So I'm like contemplating like, how, all right, enough light cases. I need to make room for my heavier cases. How am I gonna do this? So it was just irritating me. So I got that catch up to, to line up with the, uh, the whatever's on the right there. And you're gonna see that gap in between the catch up and the other side, I struggle with. Cause I, I, I'm low on my pallet. I don't wanna have a higher inside and then, you know, keep going. So I'm seeing what works. I'm constantly moving cases around on this. I struggle big time, but this is why I think it's important to have this unedited so you can see me struggling and what I have to do. Now, the it takes me a little while, but I do get a nice base on this. But let's just watch and see how this works out. Now, a high lift comes right here. I do block them out. Uh, I don't want, like I said, I try not to show anyone's face on here. So that white box is going to be on there for a little bit. Once again, I, this is right here. I got the volume turned off and probably right, uh, pretty good that I do have the volume turned off because, uh, I get very irritated. I, I'm, I'm not happy with the way this is going right now. This early in the morning, uh, this is probably around probably 6 a.m. and I'm just getting very frustrated with this uh, palette. And yeah, and if you heard me talking in it, you would definitely tell I'm talking to myself and I was just very irritated with this. I'm trying my hardest <laughs> to get this base going because I knew I had a full palette. Still light boxes. I'm getting jellos now. I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I see two jellos. I'm like, oh, I'll put them here and then I end up moving them later. Just this palette was just, yeah, just not working out for me. And I put that there thinking if I get something to fit in that gap in the middle, uh, then I could go three jellos across. But as of right now, it just wasn't working out. Okay, so I'm starting to get in some of my cans. I had baked beans there. more longer boxes of jellos that just don't work 
You do notice I walk across my forks. I don't recommend it for newer selectors. I don't even recommend it for me, but you just get into the habit where it's like second nature. You don't even realize you're doing it. You're just worried about selecting and, and moving forward. Like I said, guys, even with the smaller case order, the name of the game is progression. All right, you want to keep progressing forward. Uh, and honestly, I, I smoked my times on this order too. I, I think I finished at like 120 some percent on this order. Doesn't seem like it, but I did because once I get my base going, uh, you know, things start moving a lot smoother. And I, and I have nobody in the aisle. You know, there's no one blocking me up. There's no one holding me up. Now, if I had people in the aisle selecting around me, uh, this is also on pre-shift overtime. Where this is the same day that I had my other video that I did. Uh, this is like literally like 20 people in the warehouse and we got a pretty big warehouse. It's actually a rarity to see somebody. So, but uh, if there was a bunch of people selecting around me, I may not have made my times on this order, but I did pretty well on this order. But like I said, guys, I, I'm forming a back corner. I constantly stick into my methods. Uh, when cases are not working, I don't leave them there, especially low on my palette like this when I'm trying to form a base out of small cases. All right, I'm leaving that out. I'm going to the next aisle, which I'm going to be getting to some cases. getting more canned goods. So I'm trying to form that wall that I talk about. I'm trying to form a nice solid back. You want a solid back and a solid front. And the thing that stinks is I'm starting to get cases now like these aren't even, I remember these aren't even working the best for me in the back of my palate. Uh, these are kind of irritating me. I'm getting gaps in the middle of my palate and I'm like sitting there like, how am I gonna fill these in? And then I grab, I see that. I see an opportunity to do that. I take one of those small cases, I fill in a gap and I put two cases that are like side by side. And I know when I put that there, I'm not keeping it there. Uh, the only way I like alternating my block and tying something is, is if, if I know I can get two of them. And I just created a small space next to there with a gap. So I know it's probably not gonna work. So there, I finally find a case that I'm actually happy with keeping in the middle there. It's a little lower, uh, but it's something I can build off of. As you can see, things are starting to come together now. It took me a little while, but you know, it's starting to come together. These light cases, I end up moving them. I, I just, I don't like them there. It, like I said, guys, if you're not happy with it, I am doing everything in my power right now to try to get things to line up because like I said, I know I have a full palette. This is probably the one point where I got a little, I was getting really irritated. I was like, man, I really want this corner to work. And I was like, you know what? The heck with all these light cases, I'm just gonna throw them on my forks and I'll worry about them later. I'm moving them around too much. And I have a one pallet order, so I got the room to do it. So why am I sitting here sweating these cases when they're light, when I could just throw them on later? And that's what I decided to do with them. Honestly, I, I don't know if I do it or not, but those three jellos, I should do the same thing with those. It's just throw them on my forks and worry about them later. But as you can see, I'm working on getting things level again. I got two cases that are the same. So I'm like, okay, let me move these over here. I got my higher corner again. I'm gonna work on building that low inside to meet the high corner. And I, another thing you notice, guys, is, uh, and you could do this obviously when there's no selectors in the aisle, is I'm constantly shifting back and forth from one side of the aisle to the other. I wanna be as close to my jack as possible. I don't wanna, uh, the less steps you take, the better. I always say it's so important to have your palette lined up with the uh, palette that you're throwing from. Uh, you don't want to be two bays back or two bays forward. I see that all the time. You want to be as close as to the palette or the, yeah, the, you know, the palette you're selecting from as much as possible. So I, I keep finding things to work. Like I said, I am moving many, many, many cases around on this. And honestly, if I had a palette that was 30, 40 cube, I would not be doing this. 
I would just, I, I wouldn't care. I would not care. But the fact that I know I have a full palate, uh, it's bothering me. Uh, I know that I got to get this, uh, I got to get the palette looking good. See, I finally moved those jellos. I'm like, okay, these things aren't working. And I'm honestly, I, I'm actually a little angry with myself after watching this because I think I just spend way too much time, uh, you know, on certain things. Yeah, I, I needed to keep moving a little bit more than my likings. I should have threw some more cases on the forks that were lighter and just came later. But as you can see, I'm really getting close to having a nice level base now. And I'm starting to be, I'm starting to get happy. <laughs> I'm starting to getting a little bit happier. I'm getting a level base going because I know I got heavier cases coming up and bigger cases. All right, yeah, and then you get these little dull things. I immediately, immediately think the inside of the palette. Uh, they're the same as the uh, all the other cases that we have, like the Tidy Cats and the uh, Fresh Step Litter and your LaCroix. Anytime I get a, a small case like that, I like to stick them in the middle of the palette if I can. And if they're on the outside perimeter of the palette, I like to tuck them in between two different cases. Like right there, I believe I keep that there. Uh, you know, I just focus on maybe putting some weight on. I keep getting more of these and it was, I was already irritated at one point. So I'm just working on trying to keep these in the middle of things. Yeah, I had someone ask before about the lights in our warehouse. They shut off, as you can see them shutting off in the background. If there's no one around for a certain amount of time, they just automatically shut off. It's a way for our warehouse to save money on electric. So right here, not a thousand percent uh, happy with that choice there, but it did equal up the middle and I'm keeping my in. You see how I'm doing it guys? Always go back to my basis. So it doesn't matter if I start off with small cases and I'm building something a little bit different. I always go back to my, my insides facing or my corners facing in and the middle of that palette facing back i always fall back to what i build and uh, that dole in the middle is it's going to work but it's leaning a little bit to my likings i just got to make sure that the case that i put on the corner on the left side is going to be higher there's someone coming down the aisle so i blocked them out And for you new selectors, uh, yeah, when you see someone coming, they give a little beep of their horn, you know they're going to pass you, just move over to the side. All right, we don't want to hog up the middle of the aisle. Look, I mean, I am constantly on the side of the aisle, and I'm one of 20 people in the warehouse, and I'm still selecting on the side of the aisle. For two reasons, one, in case someone does come by, and for the second reason, like I said, is because I want to be close to my product. But you want to get in that habit of not focusing on driving down the middle of the aisle. Once again, guys, facing in with the back with my back, I'm going to build that center column now, going right back to the way I know how to build. And you know, I'm done with my base. Uh, you know, and see, I noticed that. I noticed I pushed that case out. It's not going to fit there. I need to do something differently. I turned it, and now it, it you know it fits there now. That's what I say. You don't want to force a case into a space that's not going to fit there because that means that something else is being pushed out. I noticed it was pushing that case out, so I decided not to. I moved the other case to fit that in there. And I'm moving on to the next style now, which we're going to start getting into a little bit bigger cases like oils. Uh, and pop two liters. I get it. I can start getting two liter pops. Now that's what I mean. Now picture me not caring about the way my base looked. Well, now I got to deal with these bigger cases. My palette would have been mayhem. It would have been absolute mayhem. So this is why I care so much. I know I got heavier cases coming and I'm going to do everything in my power now to, to make sure that these... I'm stuck on a piece of wood right here, so I go backwards and forwards. That's another thing that irritates me. <laughs> it's whenever you're driving, you're cruising, and you get stuck on a little piece of wood. These jacks get caught up on every little piece of debris there is. And they don't drive over anything. 
All right, like I said, I'm getting bigger cases now. I'm gonna start tying in everything that I possibly can. And when I get to this part of the warehouse, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, please don't give me a lot of these cases. Just give me enough, don't give me a lot. And I, I had more than I wanted. And especially when I got to the two liters. Two liters are hard to build enough on whenever they're on the base. Uh, and building them on top of stuff like this is really annoying. All right, guys, so that's the end of my video. So now we're gonna look at some pictures. Uh, you know, like I said, once I get to a certain height, I need to stop uh, because it's literally pointless because you're not be able to see what I'm building on the back. So that's when I throw the pictures in. So we're gonna look at some of the pictures in my final work. All right, guys, so the first picture I wanna show you is this one right here. Uh, as you can see, I ended up with getting cereal and paper towels and stuff, toilet paper on top, uh, but I had a full pallet. This is the front of the pallet. And you could see now why I wanted to construct this base really nicely. And as you could see, I got a really nice base. It took me a while. Not everything works out perfectly every single time. It took me a while to construct this base, but I thought it was very important that I did. And now let's say I just had a, a 40 cube. All right. Let's say I ended at those Cheerios. I wouldn't have cared so much. All right. I wouldn't have cared so much. Uh, I lie. Maybe I would have cared so much. <laughs> Maybe I still would have took the time. I don't know. But maybe I wouldn't have cared as much, I should say. All right, so that's the front of the pallet. This is the back of the pallet. As you can see, I started getting two liters, uh, but I just focused on keeping a higher outside than a low inside. I, I knew I was ending in 68 out, which is all the bigger paper goods that you see there. Uh, but as you can see, things worked out nicely because I kept the back of my lower cases. I kept them as level as possible. And here is a side picture, uh, as you can see, I have a Charmin up on end. You know, I knew I wasn't putting nothing really heavy on top. It's in the middle of the pallet. I, got, I had to put a cereal up on end. Uh, I had to start maneuvering stuff. Not to my likings. I don't like putting cases on their side if I don't have to. But when you have a pallet like this, sometimes you don't have an option but to do that. But that's the side view right there. And like I said, guys, I mean, you actually see steps coming down with the two liters. But it is what it is. Uh, stuff doesn't always work out the way you want it to. And as you can see, I struggled with this base. But I got it done. I got a nice solid base and I was able to still build a nice square pallet. So very important one today. I think that you guys need to watch this one all the way through and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me some more ideas. If you like these unedited versions, I know they're longer, but if you like them, if you want me to go back to editing in between every case, I could do that too. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Leave comments below.